Hey there, Mission Control. Well, this is going to be the conclusion of the system overview series, and today we're going to finish up with just some odds and ends, if you will. Uh, we need to go over kind of the current state of the fungus mitigation, what we're doing there. Uh, we also need to go over pest management, uh, what we're accomplishing there. And then the last thing I have is backup power systems. So let's jump right into those topics today. Well, I think in any outbuilding that you have around your home or certainly on a ranch is uh, gonna have uh, little critters trying to get in there or are in there and you just need to manage them. So this little guy right here is our mouse trap. It's an A24 uh, rat and uh, mouse automatic mouse trap. Uh, got it online and it's CO2 powered. It actually has a little actuator in there that uh, as the mouse comes up and gets, tries to get the bait that's on the top of it here, uh, their head hits a little trigger and uh, actually just bashes their head and down they go. This thing definitely works. One night I got five mouse, uh, five mice, five mice uh, in one night with this thing. They just kind of, it's kind of gross. They just cl kept climbing on top of each other to get up to that bait. So uh, definitely a good thing here. We're going to get another one of these and put it in the building. Uh, to help manage the mice. Now, a lot of you have asked, how come you don't have a cat or something out here? Well, we can't bring a cat or a dog or anything in here because of food safety. At least now that we're trying to bring uh, everything in here, kind of clean it up and uh, kind of move out of construction mode and into operation mode, if you will. So trying to make sure the animals don't get in here. So on this take, I'm gonna kind of stay behind the camera. We're gonna zoom in here. See that green stuff on the rocks there? That's all algae. And that was caused when we are having problems with the bell siphons and we weren't able to keep the water level below the rock line. It's actually coming up right to the rock line. And that's a big challenge. You don't want to get algae in your system. That's not too bad right there. That's something we can manage. We can get rid of that. Just some good sunlight will kill that stuff when it's dry. You can see it turning white right there as, as it dies. So just something to be careful of. Uh, for us, it's all about water level and that's how we're gonna be managing the algae. All right, so if you notice, on both lanes, all those experiments that we had uh, to help track down the fungus and everything are actually down. Mrs. Martian has been out here uh, cleaning the facility. Uh, it's gonna take a few times through to get it where we need it to be, but um, the experiments are done. She's actually gonna be in an upcoming video, so I don't wanna steal her thunder or anything and go over uh, what we have found out so far from OSU and what we're planning on doing about it. But it, essentially it comes down to uh, watering and temperature um, and just managing those things. So uh, she'll go over the details of that. Again, I don't wanna seal all of our thunder there, but uh, give you some more of the insights. But fungus control uh, is a very important thing. Uh, we're starting to have to implement some of the good agricultural practices like different shoes, different clothes inside the building, uh, all those types of things we're actually gonna be um, putting a no walk area or, or a, a dirty area, a clean area line up front uh, to help make sure we're, we're not contaminating things uh, unduly, trying to manage it. You can't stop everything, but that's what we're going to try to do. Um, and then have different pairs of shoes out here uh, to walk through everything. So uh, fungus management, mold management uh, requires quite a bit of active behavioral changes. Uh, so uh, a lot more to come with Mrs. Martian. Again, kind of be a little cryptic here. She's got a lot of stuff to share with you guys. So uh, let's move on to our next topic here, backup power. Part of our original plan for backup power was to have this biogas generator, which would be connected to the digester right here, uh, operate as backup power. So power went out, turn this guy on, use methane uh, from the digester, and that would be your backup power. Now, unfortunately, the digester is one of those things that we're still working on. Got to get that fixed this year with the feeding problem. So put this guy in. This is, a, this is actually a, a gas generator bought from Costco. Uh, it's 8,500 watts. Uh, powers plenty of the building here. It's connected to a generator switch behind me on the main power of the building. And we actually put a tri-fuel conversion on it. So now it'll run off of propane. So we don't need to carry gasoline out here. Uh, it's nice and clean. Connects right into our main propane tanks that uh, power the heater as well. Uh, so this is something in the future. It could be converted. You bore out the propane uh, nozzle that's inside of there, and you can actually use uh, methane on it as well, natural gas, uh, and we have this one here. So we actually have two generators. Now, I'd like to put this on an automatic switch, but right now it's an electric start, so Mrs. Martian come out here, turn it on, and we actually have the exhaust plumbed out of the building, so it can run right in here 
You don't need to pull it out or do anything like that, uh, which is important for the cleanliness and all. We don't want to be pulling a generator in and out, all those types of things. So um, runs really well, powers everything out here. No problem there. In fact, it could probably power some of the stuff up at the house too. Uh, nice size generator. So that's our backup power. Well, it's a pretty quick video. Uh, just pest control right now. They have the mouse traps, uh, the A24 mouse traps, and then with the uh, mold, uh, I'm sorry, not the mold, but the algae on the rocks. That's just a matter of uh, managing the water level, which uh, our ball valves that we're putting in is going to make that a, a huge difference. I'm going to go into more detail on the bell siphons uh, in another video here coming up, uh, I think within the next few weeks, uh, as well as the ball valves. They'll, they'll get here in two, I think it's about two weeks from now, so we'll do a big install video on those and kind of go over all those things. Uh, we also went over uh, fungus, but Mrs. Martian, she's going to have a video coming up this week where we'll go over all the updates. We've been cleaning in here. Actually, you can tell uh, if you're pulling along uh, the way that we have the entrance here is starting to change. This is going to be our clean area, or our clean area on this side. And we got some uh, ground tape here that we're going to be putting down uh, so that you have to actually uh, take your shoes off over there, sit on the chair, leave your dirty shoes over there, put your clean shoes on and come over here. We've been mopping the floor and all that, uh, but due to the construction, it needs a lot more work still. So got a lot of things to work through there. We've got a big week coming up. Uh, some good videos for you guys. I hope you're going to be excited about them. Uh, going to go over some microgreen watering, bottoms up watering. We got lighting, the ball valves. Oh man, we got a lot of stuff. And oh, the Real Martian Challenge. Going to really introduce that, kind of go over the whole thought. So if there's anything crazy you guys uh, want me to try here uh, as part of that Martian Challenge, please be sure to let me know when we get to that video. And then we got to come up with rules for the Martian Challenge. So, you know, here's what you can and cannot do type of stuff. So I'm excited about that. But that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And don't forget that you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Patreon. In the meantime, everyone, this is The Real Martian. Out.